All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Know It All DM Entertainment. I'm Know It All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing absolutely awesome. Starting off a brand new playthrough on Alpha Experimental 12. Now, I know it just says Alpha 12 up here, but this is the Experimental Branch. The Experimental Branch launched today, I believe, this morning. And uh, I've got it going. Well, this morning for me, it will have been, you know, yesterday, day before, something like that for you. Probably yesterday for you. Um, but in any case, I'm starting a brand new playthrough and I've randomized the seed. Uh, start location is a Yutu, which is unpronounceable. Um, planet size. Uh, I'll start with a medium planet size. Why not? Um, and the difficulty settings, so everybody can see, is my custom single player difficulty settings. Medium, normal, 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 rich, plenty, true, hard, high, high, fast, fast, everything else true. Um, that way I get a difficult playthrough, but it's not super difficult when it comes to the survival aspect, but rather with the combat aspect and the crafting and resource gathering is high so that I can build lots of things. Um, we could start, uh, the three possible places to start are the temperate, arid, or swamp. And I don't want to start on the swamp because, I mean, I, I, I've really never done it before. So I could, but if I'm not mistaken, there's a, uh, uh, what do you call it on there? A, uh, uh, the, the patrol vessel. And I don't want to worry about a patrol vessel just yet. So I'm going to start with the easy, the temperate, you know, thing. I could do the arid, but I'm thinking just basic temperate to start off with just to, because we're testing out the features, not so much, you know, the, the difficulty of the thing. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game and uh, I'll see you when we're dropping to the planet. And we got an error with this uh, thing. And the error, I don't know what this error file problem is, but this is, uh, I literally just updated the thing and just started trying to play it. So uh, yeah, big problem. Uh, can't start the game and uh, it looks like they assign specific factions to the star systems, which is interesting. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that once we uh, can. But Let's just try this again. Um, I'll randomize the seed again just for this, just to see if it, it might have been something to do with that seed. I don't know. But let's go ahead and see if it gets that same error again. All right, after randomizing the seed, I did not get the same error, which is good. Uh, we're actually going to follow the Robinson Protocol in this because I believe they did do some updating with the Robinson Protocol. We're going to try to come down right over here towards this uh, little junk uh, thing right over here. And uh, it looks like there is a hover vessel or a small vessel not too far away right over there that they have added to the start as well that may be part of the Robinson Protocol start. So we're gonna land here. All right, grab, oh, they actually put things in the escape pod now. Oh, it's actually sort of uh, interactive. Chip status. Malfunction in the engine system resulting in its destruction. Current situation. Crashed on an unknown planet. Pilot status. Successfully abandoned ship in an escape pod. Pilot health. Low, but stable. Robinson protocol has been initiated. Waiting for pilot to respond. Activate Robinson protocol. Welcome back, Commander. <laughs> Glad to see you alive. To start the Robinson Protocol, please access the escape pod inventory. Well, that's what I was trying to do. 
Ha ha! Please move all of the things with the blah, 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 blah. Yay! Now let's check your PDA. Okay, wow, I've got a lot of things around me. Um, put the detector down here. I'm going to go ahead and move all the things down. We're actually going to want to put this on the hot bar, that on the hot bar. Uh, that I'm going to put over here for now in case we need it. Food, health, health, water, antibiotics, and we might need that as well. All right, PDA. Find all the necessary information here. Click on PDA log. Exit the window when you are done. Okay. Open your inventory. Invalid. Well, the tab is the inventory. Um, notice your condition in the bottom left corner. Already looked at that. You need to eat and heal. Food depletes as you take actions and explore the area. Check your status regularly. Eat the energy bar. And then use the health pack. Alright. Health packs are uh, affected by different conditions. Or health is affected by... Doctor's journal, whatever. All right, I already moved the tool. I moved, you know, things like that. Uh, find some rocks and drill them. Well, before I do that, I'm just going to search this little thing, see if I can find any, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, I don't see a container anywhere. I may end up, if the PDA allows... Uh, start salvaging some of this other stuff as well. Um, I don't see a cargo box right away, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. It said find some rocks and drill them. Well, while I'm doing that, uh, there's what looks to be that hover vessel thing. It's damaged hover bike. Okay. Yay! We need to replenish your food reserves, pick up some plant protein or vegetables. I already grabbed some plant protein. Here's some more. Build energy bar or juice. Now you'll notice that they only have vegetable juice. They took away the berry juice. So you can't do berry juice anymore, but they allow you to do the detector in here for free. You can do this for free. That's awesome. You never need to worry about a detector again. You always have one. Which kind of makes me think, why don't they just make it so that the character can do that anyway? But, yeah. Okay. Uh, open map. Go to the signal source. Details, I'm guessing this is the signal source. Map offers you details about the planet's resources. Da 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 da. Equip the detector to your toolbar and perform scans with LMB periodically. Okay, so hold on. You can now do. Oh! Oh, that's nice! <laughs> you can ping things. Question, resources, resources. Look on the map. You can see that's copper. You can see a uh, level one thing over there. Question, question. I guess if we get closer, the uh, things that are question will uh, re re recover themselves. Uh, go closer, personal cargo box. Oh, that's large wreckage. Oh, that's where I landed was here. Okay. Okay, check and any, take anything off of the wreckage. Um, it says access the personal cargo box, but I didn't find one. 
Um, maybe I have to drill some more and try to find it. That's possible, I guess. Unless they changed the model for the personal cargo box to something I don't know of. <laughs> Um, I don't see any marker specifically saying where it said personal cargo box is. So I'm guessing I just have to dig down and see if I can find it. But it looks like this is the bottom here. That's weird. There's no personal cargo box there. There is no personal cargo box on this, as far as I can see. I'm gonna dig out the entire thing, but I don't see a personal cargo box anywhere. So there's obviously some uh, problems with the Robinson protocol. Yeah, because there is no personal cargo box here anywhere that I can find. Um, just as a quick, you know, uh, thing just to see if I'm just missing something. Oh, hold on. There it is. It's way up there. I found it. I was going to God boat into the ground just to make sure I couldn't, that it wasn't, you know, with anywhere there, but okay. Now, how do I get up there? Like so, haha, -ha. personal cargo box. It hid the personal cargo box. Well, it was just, you know, above where I thought it would be. Haha, -ha. let's take everything. Haha. -ha. With newly found items and devices, we should start the camp. First, open the tech tree by pressing invalid. Um. Ooh, I like the spiral. Okay, before I get too far, let me take a look at, make sure that this does, doesn't, you know, hasn't changed any of my things. No, it looks like it's fine. It's just, for some reason, not, uh, uh, I don't know what the key, Hold on. Uh, is there a key to open it or do I have to go through there? Uh, tech tree. Tech tree menu is F3. Okay. Uh, unlock the portable constructor from the miscellaneous tab. Aha! As you can see, some items are already unlocked. When you achieve the next level, you can unlock more and craft more advanced items. Now craft the portable constructor in your survival constructor. Now, huh, the portable constructor only requires iron ore now, and so does the water condenser. So these are a lot easier to craft. And that, the heater as well, is a lot easier to craft if you're, uh, uh, if you're stranded somewhere and uh, whatnot. So, okay, um, I might start salvaging some of this if, uh, if I need to. Uh, let's head back over here to the hover vessel. Um, because this is probably where we're going to end up remaining for a uh, amount of time until we get the hover vessel up and running. Looks like it's getting overcast and cloudy. Well, this does take a long time to craft. Yay, now that we have that, it wants us to place it. I'll place it here. I'll place the portable heater cooler there. Don't forget to pick up Shift F, those terrain placeable devices. If you plan to go exploring, it might save your life. And then survival tent. Let's place it there. Very nice, very nice. Now, you can respawn at the survival tent. Um, they, that's something that they just added, that you can respawn at the survival tent. Let me 
Wow, these do not give you a whole lot of food. They give you very little food now. Um, I think they've decreased a lot of the food things. So uh, you need to craft a motorbike. That is our next thing. So craft. All right, motorbike place. Okay, uh, basic weaponry. Um, it wants us to craft a pistol. I guess. It says unlock a weapon from the tech tree and use your portable constructor to craft it. Um, right now, the pistol is the only thing I can do. So we'll see if the pistol counts. Hopefully it does. Hey, it does. Um, let's make a little bit of ammo for it. You successfully completed the basic portion of the... Uh, you should be able to survive a little longer. Check the PDA for more topics and such. Um... Uh, scanning the terrestrial transport vessel of unknown origin in our vicinity. You should go find it as the motorbike is really only emergency solution. Doesn't offer any protection or transport capabilities. Let's go. Hey, look, I'm here. Looks like the concept of a hover bike. The team and I worked on back at Apollon station, except somewhat modified and smaller, much smaller. The hull is showing serious damage and a few devices are missing. The vessel seems to have been subject to be to have been subject to extensive salvaging. I bet it can be repaired. I bet I can repair it. Okay, Commander. I suggest you have a seat in the cockpit, hit P to open the control panel so I can check what we need to fix it. Alright, uh before that, let me do this and make just a little bit of ammunition for uh, I'll go ahead and just do as much ammunition as we can. Okay. All right. Uh, we are going to need a generator and fuel tank. Uh, you got the basic ground repulsor engine, so it's the absolute basic one. Um, so... Uh, access the constructor. All right. Um, let's cancel that. So we have a little bit of copper left. Um, I think 150 ammunition is more than sufficient. Uh, let's go ahead I'll put that over there because we are not going to need it as much. Um, can I craft generator? I need more electronics, which means I'm probably going to need more copper. How many electronics am I going to need? Well, let's craft that and then we'll see. Um, I need two electronics and one motor. Um, the electronics... I should be able to craft two electronics, no problem. Why is it saying new? That's weird. Oh, now it's saying I can do the electronics. It's just the motor that I wouldn't be able to do because I need a total of three electronics and nanotubes, which means I'll need more carbon substrate. I need dirt. That's what I need. Do I have any on me? No, I did not get any dirt. Okay, let's go find a rock. There's a rock over here. There's a copper deposit right there. And let's grab some rocks from here. Okay. And while we're over here, let's grab the iron and this from right here. We might go grab that copper. Okay, oh, we got more of this. We got more iron and everything. Okay. Okay. Let's head back over here, like so. There's a lot of uh, things over there on the ground. A lot of, uh, what do you call it? Dirt. Okay, now I can do this. Let's see. Generator, fuel. There's some things up front. I'm guessing I can make an extended fuel and generator thing. Fuel generator. 
there's a decent amount of uh, places to upgrade this. Um, it says public. I'm going to leave it as public. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to put the fuel tank back here. Okay. I hope I don't have to place that as part of the thing. And then, yeah, I do. Crap. Can I make another fuel tank real quick? Yes. Great. And I'm going to just place the generator right there. So we'll have uh, double the fuel tank, which uh, will be fine. I can remove one if I need to later. What do we got in here? Ooh, cobalt. Nice. Um, I might have to uh, add a second storage thing up to there. We'll see. Okay, generator or fuel tank here. Yay! Now we need to crest at least two biofuels from plant fiber as well. Good thing we've got some plant fiber here. Can we do biofuel with these plant fibers? Where's, where's the biofuel? There's a biofuel. I need to get more plant fibers. Um, there's some plant fibers. I want to hurry up and get this done before it uh, gets dark. So I'm going a little bit faster on things than I otherwise would. Uh, plant fibers, plant fibers, plant fibers. And we can even pull up a tree if we need to. Okay, I think that's good. Boop. Okay. Um, plant fibers in there. One, two. Let's go ahead and turn that into more food. Okay. It's even got a headlight. Okay. Do we have the first one yet? Not yet. Now we do. And we'll put this in here. That's 2%. Interesting. They, they got sort buttons now. I forgot about that. But the sort buttons obviously don't work very well if you don't click on the actual button parts. Um, A to Z. What is this? Uh, food. Okay. <laughs> it's telling me to refill. But it's got refill twice. Okay. Um, I'll make as many as I can. I don't know what it's expecting the refill thing. Maybe can't take the things out. So, um, they really need to work on that. Um, what does, hold on, this say under refill? It says craft. Oh, um, I guess I have to manually check these okay i've got a third oh. there we go detector it wants us to craft a detector for the uh thing so let's see can I craft a detector in here? I can. Um, I need to unlock it, which hover vessel detector is unlocked at level three, which I cannot do yet. Ooh, there's an advanced core that says it's unlocked. This uh, means you don't need CPU, but it completely removes the CPU limitation. Um, that's what this does here, which would be, you know, awesome for a giant vessel or whatever. But uh, you can't actually build it. Yeah, it's got crafting ingredients. But as you'll notice, you can't craft it in any, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, which is weird. So, okay, it looks like we need to get to level three. I'm level two right now. Right now, my biggest problem is food. So I'm going to go over this direction and I'm going to start gathering up as much food as I can. 
Um, it shouldn't be too long before I gain a level gathering up food. And we're level three. Okay, so and I'm gonna have this make four of those. Okay, and we'll just head back over to here. All right, and now I should be able to unlock hover vessel. The detector. And you can make a detector. Okay, now I was, I just saw in here, these are all yellow. Which means it's neutral. Unfriendly is red. I wonder what the, uh, okay, so there's the faction. Polaris Mega Corporation is apparently orange. I don't know what the legacy means. I really don't. I mean, is that the name of a faction or is that like, like, I don't know. Uh, UCH, Creel, Xerax, uh, regular Polaris. Okay, Polaris is orange instead of blue. Uh, pirates are yellow. Traders are light blue. I do like they have a good amount. I don't know about the Creel and the legacy. Those I don't know anything about um if you want to leave comments down below informing me that would be great uh okay oh they changed the model of the hover vessel to match that of the small vessel very interesting um i believe i shall put this hmm let me do this Okay, and up, oh, up, and whoa! Okay, there we go. There we go. And then I'll put this down. Can I put it down one more? Yeah. Um, really, I want to see if I can do uh, up, down, down. Right there. Okay oxygen tank it needs an oxygen tank so i'll do an oxygen tank not that it really needs an oxygen tank unless you're going to put an oxygen station on it but you know um we'll go ahead and put it on there because this does not actually increase your oxygen at all so whoa whoa ow at least i didn't get hurt okay oxygen tank and we're gonna put this there. Ha ha! Since landing, I've been receiving a strange signal. Seems that it that it seems to be that of a coded signal that was used in the Operation Phoenix fleet. A closer scan may reveal more. Uh, before we go elsewhere, I suggest to build a sustainable base of solid material. Uh, that one is better, one that is better suited as a fallback and starting point for the upcoming adventures and exploration attempts than out, than our current camp. All right, why not? Let's go. Uh, to start your own base, you'll need a base starter. I've got one. All right. Right now, I say we try to find... A place for a camp. Now we do have. Haha! You can ping while on the thing here. Um, we've got water down here, water up there, and a bunch of question marks over here. I'm gonna come over this way. This hover vessel is not. Uh, very stable at all. What is that? Hold on. Why are you all the way down there? Crap. That is not where I wanted you. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to correct that. I wanted it where this, uh... I wanted it where this, uh, what do you call it is? Where the, uh, oxygen station is. So, okay, I'm gonna have to craft another detector. Uh, let's just put all of our resources back in here. Okay, can I make another detector real quick? Yes, thank you. Um... Very odd. I wanted to put it down there where those are, like where that is, and then put that where these are. Is there something in that location? Is that why I can't put it there? Come on, stand on the surface. Is there something in that location there where I can't, that I cannot put it there? I don't know. Okay. No, right there is where I wanted to put it. Okay. Now we ought to be... Yeah, now we're cooking with grease. Okay. Uh, wreckage over here. A bunch of... More wreckage and such. Okay, so these wreckages, these wreckages should have cargo boxes with stuff that I can salvage. So let's come back over to this one. This one I see as not only a cargo box that I can salvage things from but it also that's interesting how that sort of I don't know it looks like that blocks the light that's weird it also has a second one and a power storage that's going to be very useful. Now, is it only one power storage it has? I think so. Okay. That's going to be very useful. Okay. So I got this one. This one. Yeah, I think I got this one just now and then that one um, let's check out this one or did I get this one I think this one may be the one I got yeah I need to go back and get that one over there where is it here there's a survey station That may be what our one of our next uh, what you call it is going to be is to go to this survey station here. That's interesting. Um. Okay, I think I'm going to find a place to set up a decent base right here. There's a copper deposit over there. I don't see any more deposits on this side. So I'm gonna head back over this way. Ooh, there's resources over here. Um, resource, resource. What are these resources? Iron deposit. Is that a Xerax thing or? Is that an unowned thing? Oh, it's a spider's nest. So if here's iron, this resource might be silicone. 
Yeah. Okay. We got some more resources that direction. We got a vegetable here that's rare. There's something pink. Uh, that's a legacy something, so I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I think this is actually not a bad place to set up shop, except for the spider nest. But we're not going to worry too much about that. I want to set it up sort of equidistant from all of the resources. And so I'm thinking somewhere like here to set up our home and uh, or our, our initial base anyway. So I think this is where I want to set up our base, but we're going to do that in the next episode. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival Alpha 12 Experimental, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know-It-All DM, and as always, y'all have a good day now.